You already know what it is. All I do is work. Our good buddy Kevin Clements asked, Brett, how often do you rewrite your training schedule and what combinations do you do with regards to power and hypertrophy? Um, well, I practice what I preach. I don't often change um, my, my programming. Um, I like to stick to a program for uh, a decent amount of time, at least three to six months. Um, never shorter than three months. Uh, I've actually been on a legs push-pull program for, or some variation of it for the past two years probably. So um, it's not often that I rewrite my training program. Um, I did however about a year ago start incorporating more strength days and um, what I would do is for like the first half of the week I would focus on strength and um, big three movements and then the second half of the week I would do more hypertrophy uh, more hypertrophy focused workouts uh, lately I've been getting more back to uh, mostly hypertrophy um, I try to get stronger on the big three lifts early in each workout like I may do like on chest day I'll do my flat bench press first focusing on um, trying to Looked heavier than last week. Uh, trying to move the weight up, and that's you know most important. Lower reps, um, but for the most part, I focus on hypertrophy, and uh, that that takes up the majority of of my training. Uh, since that is what I'm mostly focused on is building muscle. Uh, but I do understand that you have to become stronger in order to build muscle, so it goes hand in hand, but um, I don't, I don't train, I don't change things very often, but I do change things, um, say, like just recently, I'm still doing a three day split, but just recently I changed it to, um, I, I do like a chest and back day. And then an arms and shoulders day, and then a lower body or legs day. I may actually change that further and go to a, a chest day on its own, a back day on its own, and then arms and shoulders on a day, and then legs on a day. But um, I'm still playing with that right now. But yeah, it's not often. In fact, this is the first time I've changed really uh, my schedule in terms of training split in terms of training in, in two years. So. Um, Aaron Brooks, uh, Supermom, asks, how did you and your wife meet? Um, well, that's actually a pretty good one. Um, Eva and I are not actually married yet. Uh, we will be married this year though, so uh, keep, uh, keep following along and I'm sure we'll have a uh, some sort of footage from that or uh, the preparation for a wedding and I will keep you guys updated with that but um, we met actually we went to elementary school together we were in uh, second grade uh, class together and I don't know but we weren't you know you're in second grade you're not like like boyfriend girlfriend type thing um, we just kind of knew of each other, honestly. Um, and then uh, later on, I went to a different middle school, and uh, we we actually met again um, when we were like 15 or 16. Uh, we both worked at Wendy's, and it's kind of funny because even then we weren't like romantically involved or anything. I think we were both dating other people and. I don't even know if we even talked. It's it was, she actually told me that we worked together, and I, I didn't remember it. But um, it's kind of funny. But um, then uh, a few years ago, uh, we got in touch again through Facebook. Uh, we had been friends on Facebook for quite a long time, and uh, I I don't know. She seemed interesting to me. Um, she had some posts that had to do with fitness and nutrition and stuff like that, and. Uh, 
just seemed like someone I'd be interested in getting to know better, and uh, so I got in touch with her, and we went on a date, and as you can see, the rest is history. We have, uh, we have a little girl together, uh, we've lived together for the past almost two years now, and uh, we're looking to get married this year, so. And Danny Caldwell asks, what got you inspired to start lifting, and how old were you when you first started? Um, I think I think what got me inspired to start with me is the same thing as a lot of people is um, the greats, the, the old um, classic bodybuilders, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and such. Um, I used to buy buy up like Flex magazines and Muscle and Fitness and stuff like that. And, um, that was that was early on. That was probably 13, 14 years old. But I wasn't into lifting. In fact, I was I was pretty overweight most of my um, childhood and teenage years, and uh, I don't know, I, I started my fitness journey, I'd say, when I was 17, and I lost 80 pounds that year, and um, got really skinny, but inspiration would have to be classic bodybuilders, um, I used to, I, I was just really into bodybuilding, even though I didn't participate in it, I was really inspired by it, and I always wanted to do it, it was always like a, a goal of mine, you know, it's like kind of a dream when you're a kid, but it was, that's all it was at that point, I, I, I got into um, cardio and, and better nutrition and stuff when I was 17 and, and lost weight, and I lifted weights then, but not seriously. Learning a lot about uh, muscle building around that time, um, but I was never really serious about it, and I was never serious about sticking to a program or anything like that, or competing in bodybuilding or anything. Um, I'd say when I was about 26 or 27, I actually got serious and consistent with my training. Um, that's when I decided to compete. I competed the first time when I was 28, and probably won't compete again until, I don't know, I'm 31 now, so probably 35 or so. I want, I want some time to really put on some serious uh, muscle, and um, it just doesn't happen overnight with uh, natural lifters, so. But yeah, so when I really got consistent and serious about it, I was probably uh, 26, something like that. And there's been setbacks here and there, um, things that had me not training for periods of time, but um, but that's when I basically really started to become a bodybuilder competitively. So, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the answers to these questions, and um, if you guys ever want to know anything else, just uh, leave a question in the comments in any of my videos, I'll be happy to answer. Thanks guys. Thank <laughs> you.